Alrighty, so this is my um, solar oven and uh, it folds out like so. This is just a tin foil that you're seeing. Uh, these two panels fold out here and this one I had to make smaller. Uh, uh, this, this panel here I had to make smaller so that it would fold up good. Um, it's nighttime now and I should wait till tomorrow to, to show the video but uh, I got excited about this and again I always build with a lot of excitement and rarely with a lot of uh, precision but I made this cool little thing to uh, so I'm going to set it up for you so you can see it um, and then I'll give you some of the details of it uh, it's pretty simple these wires here hold the pieces to the right focal length or focus or whatever you want to call that so I'm going to pull the camera off and give you a little rundown of what I got here. All right, so what I got here is the solar oven. Uh, um, this is a little bracket I made to catch that uh, bar there. Now I built this around this piece of high of uh, tempered glass that I found. So I, the whole thing was built around that. Um, I got these hinges. As you can see, these hinges are different from the back ones, and it actually worked out good that I had the wrong hinges for the back ones because the back one sits a little higher. I've got a butternut squash in there that I'm roasting, uh, but the sun's down, so so uh, it won't be roasting anything tonight. Now I have these uh, put these cool little handles on the side, and I actually drilled a hole for my uh, thermometer, but I won't be using that thermometer because I found this really cool, awesome camera work, huh? I found this really cool, we have this boiler room at work, and I uh, found this old thermometer, and it actually works. I had to clean it with the, the grinding wheel brush a little bit, but it, but it, it actually works, so I'm really excited to, to kind of put that up and, uh, you know, do a little recycling there with that nice little thermometer. Pretty cool. Um, so, again, I built this around that piece of tempered glass that came out of an entertainment center. And I put these pins in the side, and if you take out the nails, oh, there's the handles, it's pretty exciting, you know. <laughs> if you take out the, the nails, then this front piece comes off, and the glass slides out if you want to. Now, I'm not really very precise with my building, but my friend just sold me a table saw, and so I put these little grooves, which are just a, a table saw thick, uh, a blade thick and the glass slid right in there so it made a good seal so it slides in and as you can see there's a part of the groove as it comes down there um, gosh what else so there it is it's uh, it's a little rough and rugged man but it's pretty cool and I'm uh, it was pretty cold today so I, and I wasn't getting anything over 140 so I heard that it's best to make a, a box inside of a box now so I made this one in shoe box and this is just a cellophane. Uh, the cool thing about posting on YouTube is that my last solar oven was made out of a styrofoam container and a sheetrock with mud all over it and uh, fortunately somebody with a lot more knowledge than I have wrote me and said you don't want to be cooking with styrofoam because it's toxic gas. So I was like awesome, cool. I threw it in the garbage and started from scratch. Um, I have a piece of slate in there to absorb a little bit of the heat. Um, that's about it. There it is right there. Cool little thing. Folds up really groovy. Very excited about how it folds up. I don't know if I'll walk you through that again, but yeah, you saw it from the first, so there it is. There's my solar oven. I will post more videos, um, especially if I cook something and it turns out tasty. There's my little girl right there. That's a squealy cue. What you looking at, little girl? You like that? Yeah. Mmm, she's my sweet girl. She's famous now. Alright, there you go. Cool. Bye.